we often sing about the stars and the universe and to me that's it's trying to capture how massive love can be Certainly for us and each each song is some form of trying not to feel alone. And so I think the hope is that whether it's one person listening on their own or lots of people in a concert, hopefully that hopefully it's music that makes you feel part of something. We've met a few times before we decided to do music together, haven't we? Yes, we did. The first few times I met you, you were hidden behind a cloud of <laughs> weed smoke. Someone else's. Someone else, yeah. I'm not Obviously. suggesting, John, that you were smoking weed. <laughs> but uh, I was like, who's that guy behind that cloud? And then I, then I saw Johnny play guitar in a, someone's room when they were all smoking. And um, <clears throat> I was like, oh, that guy is really sweet and he, he's really good. So we just sat in it and it just felt really good straight away. And it was like a, a Disney movie for me of like, oh, I found my prince. <laughs> you kissed the frog. I kissed the frog, yeah. <laughs> So we, we went through band names quite fast, but uh, by our second concert, we were called The Coldplay. And I think by our third concert, we were called Coldplay. So we didn't actually perform. We only ever performed one concert without our name. We made all the lawyers come out of their suits <laughs> with contracts because we didn't want to sign it in the office. The song Yellow was one of those songs that largely just sort of appeared from the sky. I don't really know where they come from. Some songs just sort of land. And uh, I've always just taken it to be a pretty straight ahead love song. Not everybody in the Western world is um, ignoring it, you know? Like, these guys have to work very hard, we know, but we also know that we in the West sometimes make it a lot harder for people in Mexico or Haiti or Mozambique or Bangladesh. You know, we make it harder by, you know, ruining their own markets. We've got no laurels to rest on, man. We, we've got to, we're, we're still looking for our laurels, in my opinion. We've got everything to prove. in a fight with anyone. We're not in a fight with anyone except George Bush and all those guys. <laughs> and I think Liam, although he's been rude, is he's, he's charming. <laughs> When I was 15, we did a concert and uh, this kid in the year 
above me, an older guy, he, he shouted us off the stage, you know, <laughs> booed us off the stage. So at that age, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to realize that if we do this, some people are going to really like it and some people are going to really not like it. And it's taken a long, long time to reconcile that. At this point, we feel like if, if what we're making is not, doesn't appeal to somebody, it's really okay. We don't mind. And even if they want to be critical, that's okay too. What we won on Monday was an award from Q Magazine called the best act in the world today. Now that's narrowing it down to one day. <laughs> so we know on Monday that we were very popular, but you can't assume that that carries on for the rest of the week. My children. Your children. Yeah. Uh, I hope they'll watch. I don't know what, what else is on that day. <laughs> I hope so. It's hard to get tickets, man. <laughs> We've spent that, what is it, nearly two years now just working with really clever people on how to do a tour and make it more environmentally good. When we are able to announce a tour, which I don't know when that will be, it will be after a lot of research and collaboration and using people much more qualified than we are. We just know that we have that goal. Shall we play it? Yeah, man. Please. This is like the premiere in the oh, whole right. galaxy. The whole <laughs> galaxy. <laughs> it was amazing to speak to him. I mean, it, it was a sort of, it had been a childhood dream of mine to be a spaceman, either that or be in a band. And I, I'm glad I did one. Yeah, one of the two. <laughs> yes.